we want to we want to enjoy hip hop as as entertainment. We want to use hip hop to start the movement to love each other to speak on uh, black peace, black love, bigging up our communities. You know, supporting each other businesses. Why not use it for that? You know, I'm the freedom of speech. You know, I'm the the other side of the non-disclosure agreements, getting the agreements. Now, we've seen Jay Prince obviously been vocal for some years now on behalf of your father. We just recently seen you and Kanye on Drink Champs. Kanye's been very vocal. Talked to um, uh, President Trump a couple years back, if not maybe last year, um, on behalf of your father. We see him and Drake trying to piece things up on behalf of your father. Talk about the hip hop impact and how that is going to help and assist maybe get some more further conversation involved to get your father free. How's that help? I mean the the hip hop influences hip hop influences the world, you know. So the reach through hip hop is much further than the reach through uh, me as an individual or just anybody as an individual. I mean, hip hop has changed the way we we do everything. You know, hip hop put us in the house in the houses with people we would never be in. So through hip hop, we can. You know, we can just reach so many people. So the influence of hip hop is just strong. We can spread the word about what's going on. We can spread the word when it's time to maybe sign a petition or or whatever it is. We can spread the world about spread the word about like how we should be moving in the community. Like if hip hop was just seen as entertainment and not not people taking it to heart sometimes, like some of the stuff that's going on in the streets probably wouldn't be going on because people are imitating art instead of instead of art imitating life or just being this art is supposed to be entertainment and hip hop is controlling what's going on. You know, people are speaking about what's going on, but they're not a lot of them are not telling the other side of the story. You know, it's supposed to be a story and it's supposed to be a movie to your ears, but they lay in a platform of what life should be and the platform that they land is, you know, it's killing us. We we want to we want to enjoy hip hop as as entertainment. We want to use hip hop to start the movement to love each other to speak on uh, black peace, black love, bigging up our communities. You know, supporting each other businesses. Why not use it for that? Not instead of using it for just how many guns I'm toting and how I blow somebody down and what have you. You know, my father's been using it for that for years. When even when he did the thing on the Ghetto Boys years ago, he was talking about voting before Puffy rocked the vote. My father was on the Ghetto Boys album telling us to vote because we had that the numbers that they didn't use that they didn't know about that wasn't being used that we could use to make the differences in our communities. Is that why like Drake and Kanye in particular getting together is important? Because when I initially saw it, I was like, well, how is that going to help anything? These two people getting together and just piecing everything up. But as you articulated, is that the reason and why? Because of the unity, bringing the two powerful forces together and showing that and seeing how that can evoke change? It's all about, yeah, it's all about unity and it's about unity. That's what my father's about. It's about the influence that hip hop has. It's about the influence that that he has like it it wouldn't really just um because they got together say anything to the judge but it's showing his influence and how he uses his influence like the things that he's interested in and what he's about plus we want to trickle down effect like right. entertainers get into it and you got people in their crew dying over whatever beef they got going on like man you guys are on top of the world you guys are making money and you can pull up the rest of the, the people in your crew Nobody should be dying while you're on top of the world over, you know, some words back and forth. Okay, did, did you orchestrate the um the Drake and the Kanye and Dre Pence thing? You put that together? Well, that was my father's, that was his baby, his idea. Okay. You know what I mean? I helped I helped play a part. Jay Prince played a part, but I didn't orchestrate it like that. You know, Kanye is from the city and um, you know, he has ties to the city. So he Genuinely, genuinely, in his heart, already, you know, um, knew, know, knew what was needed. 
So Kanye came on because he he wanted to help and he wanted to reach out. And then Drake is a Drake is a good dude and he could see the the beauty in it. So we, we just trying to put it together. They had their issues, but like I said, we trying to show who they are, show what type of real like real stand up dudes they can be. Right now, um, before you you talked about um. You know, when, when Rick Ross had this happened years ago when he came out with the song BMF, then he mentioned your father, Larry Hoover, in a way you said you didn't like the fact that he said Larry Hoover whipping work. Talk, talk to uh, my audience about that and how your dad didn't really mind because, you know, his name was still being put in the light. But you didn't like the fact that he referenced his name with Larry Hoover whipping work. Can you speak to that? OK, well, the only reason I had a, a issue with that. Is because my father is still fighting for his life. And that um, portrays him as a drug dealer. But other than that, like I said, he 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 put Larry Hoover in everybody's mouth and in everybody's mind. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. If it got quiet about Larry Hoover, everybody was thinking Larry Hoover or trying to figure out who he was. So, I mean, we can't do anything but, but honor that. But at the same time, I don't think he knew that he was doing something that might have been offensive. But it was, you know, I had felt kind of like it was. But, I mean, it's all right. We, we're way past that, you know. We kind of we kind of talked about that. And, um, yeah, everything's okay on that situation. Cool. Good. Oh, and plus, on the side of that, like, my father actually heard about when when guys were, were after Rick Ross. And he was, you know, he's like, we we don't behave like that. <laughs> you know, right, right. You couldn't, you couldn't believe it. It was and cast. I spit white like a clan mask, and I'm a hustler. I could stand out on the beach and sell sandbags. Some things can last, but this ain't just a podcast. This is Sam Ant and Oak Godcast. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Hip hop uncensored is the vibe, so subscribe. Oh God, driving Sam and riding passenger side, and you heard it out the mouth of the greatest rapper alive. Go gang.